Oh, nice to meet you. Hello. I said Nepal in the house. <laughs> how are you? I am doing well. And how are you? How's your English? It's very bad. <laughs> I don't believe that. You say very bad? Extremely bad. Extremely bad. Well, if you know synonyms for bad, then you are doing okay. Uh, what's what's going wrong? What's the bad part? So, actually, I am attending. I'm actually preparing for as you know uh, on November sixteen. Mm. I've just uh, recently booked a date, and I'm very bad. Uh, you know, I'm good at listening, but I'm very bad at um, speaking, and as well as mostly at bad at writing. Uh, no, no, reading reading sure it can be very tough and have you done any more speaking practice recently like talking to someone uh, just a day ago and how does that feel does it feel like you can have a conversation no <laughs> uh, I just practiced with uh, one of my closest brother so I don't think like it was a really a test because he's also very poor in speaking. Well, the number one thing I would say is you got the confidence because you call me in front of 600 people. That is very important. <laughs> you know that after uh, it has been just a month that I have been attending the classes as classes. So I found your podcast. I listen to your podcast every day that is great and that improved my listening you know that improved my listening i have recommended my two to three four five friends about your podcast and they also accepted my advice on october coming october 8 one of my brother is preparing for exam and i recommended him your channel and uh, he accepted he told me thank you so well thank you for sharing it with your friends i am sure they can benefit to, from learning with us together yes <laughs> my i just say <clears throat> your speaking is definitely not bad i can understand everything you're saying and maybe you feel nervous because it's a big test but i'm sure you're gonna do great <laughs> thank you so much could you please provide me any tips for reading reading so have you tried reading out loud reading out loud no i mean uh i'm talking about my that reading as exam i know i know i I'm, I'm familiar with the exam i'm just saying that when you are practicing your reading when you um, read out loud you also influ you also improve your fluency of reading and um, because reading can be very tough just like speaking and it is important to repeat the things that you have done before so if you read a page and there are words you don't understand you can look them up and then read the same sentence again so you can try and understand exactly what's going on it consumes a lot of my time it takes it does, almost two yes. hours yeah. The best thing to do is uh, not practice two hours in a row because you're going to get really tired of it and yeah. it's going to feel really bad. So I just say take a in the beginning, just try and read a page. It doesn't even have to be related to the outs. It's important that you improve your fluency and then focus on, OK, what's the test? Because you have some time. You said November. You have some time to do that. So first improve your fluency, then focus on the specific test format, because I'm sure you can find some old out tests to do. And after you practice, you will do great, I'm sure. OK, thank you for the tips. And could you please provide for writing also tasks too? I mean, writing in and of itself is uh, something I don't teach because that's mostly done in school. But the most important tip I can give for writing is read what you wrote. 
Just read it back, read it out loud in the beginning so you can hear the mistakes too. Because sometimes you don't see them, but you will hear them. Because maybe your speaking is better than your writing. So read what you wrote and say it out loud if you can. Okay, thank you. Just practice that. I never uh, expected that you would appear on my for your page. I was just scrolling oh, and uh, it was just a coincidence. I was surprised and and just I looked after your profile. I just viewed and, and I found it's you. And I it was so coincident, you know, that because um, I was uh, just uh, listening your podcast and I have not searched you on neither in YouTube nor in any other platform that but you just appeared as recently so it was so i, I felt so lucky and so happy you know and thank well, you so it's much it's my for pleasure that you found us and i hope you can improve your english and pass your outs <laughs> okay thank you thank you so much see you around bye bye thank you for your time okay bye bye